assalamu alaikum dear students you are welcome on online class of environmental microbiology and public health and students who have taken environmental biology also can participate in this class this is lecture number 31 and we are talking about the epidemiology uh, we have talked in detail various things what is epidemiology we will see this thing in detail let follow with me let follow me please at the moment i will fix the slide for you this is lecture number 31 epidemiology and our view broad types of epidemiology in our previous classes we talked about the basic terminology basic principles basic approach and the function of the epidemiology here in this class we will talk about types of the epidemiology let we will see number one is descriptive epidemiology and number two is analytical epidemiology there are two types of epidemiology one is descriptive epidemiology and second is analytical epidemiology so descriptive epidemiology is examining the distribution of a disease in a population this is the first objective of this examination examining the distribution of a disease in a particular population and observing the basic features of its distribution in terms of time place and person we try to formulate hypothesis look into association this is called a descriptive epidemiology. Descriptive epidemiology means examining the distribution of disease in a population. So what are we are examining in a population then? And observing the basic features of it is distribution in terms of time, in which time this disease is going on, in which place this disease is going on, and which type of people are affected due to this disease. And it, from these observations, when we are getting some data that this disease is occurring in this place, in these people, and in this time, so we are trying to formulate these all three things. What is the consequence? What is the consequence? How it is spread? We are trying to correlate and integrate to understand the mechanism of this disease. Why in this time, in these people, in this place, this disease is occurring. So from observation, from examination, uh, we are getting this, this result. Then we are, uh, we are standing at that position. Okay, this may be a reason of the spread of this disease in society are in this too. What we do then? Look into association. Typical study design. We are designing a model to study that. What we will do? We will study people. We will study place. We will study the time of that disease which is spreading our dear typical study design we will formulate a study that we have to do work in this uh, by keeping on these parameters in view we will conduct this study to investigate the phenomena and scenario of the community health survey uh, this is also one thing we are contributing uh, descriptive epidemiology and synonyms, cross-sectional study, and descriptive study. If you will see analytical epidemiology, you will find over here what we are doing. In
in an in uh, analytical epidemiology we are doing testing a specific hypothesis about the relationship of a disease to a specific cause by conducting an epidemiological study that relates the exposure of interest to the outcome of interest cause causes effect relationship typical study design podcast control experimental design so in analytical epidemiology what we are we are testing it we are generating a, a hypothesis okay this thing may be doing this thing. so to check this uh, hypothesis uh, we are conducting experiment relationship of disease to the specific cause by conducting an epidemiological study that relates the exposure of interest to the outcomes of interest from that we will get some information some details and some results that will illustrate us about okay the exposure so this epidemi uh, analytical epidemiology can be conducted by typical study design case control and experimental design Okay, go for this next slide. Here you can see that descriptive epidemiology is a necessary incident of analytical epidemiology. Is a necessary incident of the analytical epidemiology. What we will see. To undertake an analytical epidemiology study, you must first now where to look when we are going for the descriptive epidemiology to conduct uh, and analytical uh, epidemiology we have to consider this to undertake an analytical epidemiology study you must first look now where to look we have to start it from where number two now what to control for what we will put, one thing we have to keep as a control. Be able to formulate, test the hypothesis compatible with a prior left field evidence. We must be able to formulate the hypothesis. We should design a hypothesis. Okay, this thing is going on due to this reason. Such type of hypothesis we have to generate about a disease which is occurring in a specific population of origin. So, basic trade of the descriptive uh, epidemiology is this. These are three things. The three essential characteristics of disease we look for in descriptive epidemiology are three essential characteristics of disease we look for in descriptive epidemiology. Number one, person. In which person this disease is going on? Number two, place. In which place this disease is normally present? And in which time? These are the basic three factors, basic three characteristics are required to study the epidemiology. Person, place, and time. In which type of people this disease is going on? In which place this is, disease is going on? And in which time this disease is going on? So we must have to, these are the basic parameters for epidemiologists to study, to formulate any hypothesis we must have to consider these three, these three things. Personal characteristics of home. Age. What is the age of that person? What is the gender of that person? Socioeconomic status of that person who is suffering from that disease. Material status of that disease. Personal information about a person. The, the population which is uh, suffering from that disease. We have to take the data of those people that what is the which type, uh, which age group is affecting from that disease, which gender.
gender is affecting from that disease? Uh, what is the social economic? The people who are living in which socio socio economic umbrella they are suffering from this disease, and what is the martial status of that uh, person who are suffering from this disease? Ethnicity, race, and genetic profile. Uh, we must have to to look behavior and the habitat of special people. The, the people we have to consider all these when we are uh, going to study the epidemiology. Place, where? Geographically restricted are widespread outbreak, epidemic, pandemic, offshore tsunami. Where this problem is happening? Suppose during earthquake, uh, the problem of uh, uh, you, you can say the problem of the gangrene and uh, uh, you know the gangrene problem was very high in the Arctic uh, area, so this was a pandemic. So geographically restricted are widespread outbreaks are epidemic, pandemic are after area. In which type of place that disease is happening? So the person will be able to analyze. Okay, if there is any accident or in this region which has such type of environment here the disease is proliferating and growing on <laughs> climate effects temperature humidity combined effects these are affecting on causative agent if environment is good for the growth of that uh, uh, causative agent so they will grow fast if these three things are not uh, these two things temperature, humidity are not suitable for that particular causative agent. So they will not. It depends on the climate. If climate is supportive at that place, at that time, for the causative agent, so this is what increase. So we have to check all these things. So which type of the settlement? Either it is in urban settlements, sub-urban settlements, scattered or uh, scattered or Rural areas in which type of areas this disease is common are it is in which municipal city is where so we have to check this data when we are going to study the epidemiology relation to environmental exposure is there any relation of that uh, particular population is with environment when they are exposed to such type of environment that they are getting this disease. Is it or not? If is this is there any such type of evidence that such population when exposed to such environment they are getting this disease? So people or authorities can do something to change that environment. Or they can restrict the group of people, they will not go there during this environment. Water, food supply, industries like that of problems also can be considered. Time. So we are we were considered three factors: person, place, and time. Changing our step that the disease is occurring at one season or it is occurring at any time. Which time? Cholesterol, epidemic, or evenly distributed in damage. Which type of situation? Time standard, point source, propagated, seasonal, secular, or combination. In which time point so suppose we are in time and at that time this disease is or oh, it is it's boom it is affecting many people suppose you have seen uh, pollen grain allergy problem in Islam about that is uh, very high in summer season and in winter 
and in uh, it is going to reduce because the pollen ratio, allergen ratio, and allergen number in here is very less. So similarly, the causative agent in which time have high potential, have a high concentration and high quantity at the tissue. What design do epidemiologists use? So, epidemiologists can use qualitative design. Epidemiologists use quantitative design. They can do observational studies. They can conduct experimental studies. And they also can do building evidence that in, if there is a threatened environment in a building, and that is responsible for such type of disease. So they have to take this thing in account. What measures do epidemiologists use? How it will he will take data? Frequency measures, effect measure, impact fraction. He will do this. Frequently, he will make and analyze the data and take will obtain data from the data. Effect measure. If they will, they are taking some measures to stop and to prevent that disease. They must have to evaluate the effect. If they are taking some measures and they are not showing any effect on that disease, it is just that or impact of the fraction. Also, every individual factor, how much playing a role, you must have to check the impact of the every individual factor. Suppose temperature, time, place, and any other things which are supporting to that particular uh, causative agent or disease, which are propagating that disease, you have to check and have to check in our studies when we are working. Uh, epidemiology among unique skill of epidemiology so what they will do measuring disease frequency in population they are checking it. they are checking the pattern of the disease okay this week in this time in this month this was this uh, in this week population disease was at this rate and in second month second week third week in fourth week and then it is declined throughout year if they will check the pattern then they will be at any position at any defining position to decide that in this season in this month if, uh, this disease is at peak in this region and in in which month that disease in peak in that region they will check the climatic factors environmental factors that which type of factors can support this causative agent and which type of people are suffering if they can uh, use some precautionary measures for such people uh, they can stop they can reduce the spread of this disease measuring disease frequency has several components classifying and categorizing disease deciding what constitutes a case of disease in our study Finding a source for ascertaining the cases, defining the population at risk of the disease, defining the period of time of risk of the disease, obtaining permission to the study people, making measurements of disease frequency, relating cases to population and the time at risk. So measuring disease frequency has these components. He is getting these information from that step. Basic trade of analytical epidemiology, if you will see, uh, the three phenomena assist in analytical epidemiology are host, agent and environment. Here are also three factors. Agent, 
pathogen which is biological it may be a microorganism it may be fungi it is a virus it may protozoa anything physical which can affect uh, maybe temperature radiation uh, trauma or any other problem maybe chemical some chemicals also can cause disease acid alkalis poisons tobacco environmental conditions nutrients in diet and allergies and other so these are the causative agents of any epidemic which can be endemic which can be pandemic where well, if the factor which is causing disease will be not controlled such as it is going on in covid 19 physiological experiences host factors genetic endowment of that organism immunological status of that host where this pathogen this chemical will grow and will affect if uh, if immunological status of that individual is strong maybe the causative agent will not affect it too much personal characteristic if behavior of that person of that host is unique maybe that will not support or any unique behavior can support that particular uh, pathogenic uh, or uh, uh, disease causing agent maybe personal behavior definitive versus intermediate in vector form disease is also these are the host factors and in environment living condition house crowding water supply uh, refuse sewage etc living condition are also dependent for the determine if the living conditions are good and standard and hygienic and uh, the endemic or uh, epidemiology or disease causing pattern will be slow will be low will be not effective if these conditions are not good maybe the people uh, the population is living wherever uh, at that environment that they will suffer in that disease and gradually that will spread in that locality atmosphere and climate if it is good uh, for that causative agent maybe that will cause problem if conditions and atmospheric conditions are not good for that causative agent it will reduce such as people to our globe now waiting for the uh, uh, hot environment uh, because uh, for the uh, reduction of the covid 19 because uh, when uh, they are touching hand and they going into the air and that will be dry very soon in hot atmosphere and virus will spread so people are waiting for it. modes of communication phenomena in the environment is that bring host and agent together such as vector vehicle and the reservoir these are three factors which are support which are playing important role for the establishment of epidemiology Does epidemiology assess in problem solving in health and related policy and measures? Okay, we studied that three things that we are going to study in detail about a disease which is occurring in our region in specific population in a specific time. After getting our descriptive and analytical uh, studies, when we are getting some results. some information from that in this region in this population in this time this disease is happening and these are the causative agents of this disease from epidemiology we, we will get the type of diseases and these will be helpful for the authorities to make some uh, steps to make some major decision and the policy it will work or not uh, might be the uh, time is going very long and the uh, time is going over and we will talk about it in our next uh, slide so students i hope 
uh, epidemiology, analytical epidemiology, and uh, descriptive epidemiology, how we are studying the epidemiology, you got some basic information. And whatever you will go uh, for detail in a book or in uh, a recent and uh, this uh, latest research articles, you will get more and more information. And for further details, during our uh, when we will go for fresh classes uh, in university, we will discuss it more. Uh, neither you have to go to our book and uh, to book, you have to study the structures, what is epidemiology, how it works, what is the importance of epidemiologist, and what factors he is studying in epidemiology, how it is useful for the country and status uh, to make some decisions for uh, betterment of the public health in that society. So it will be supportive. Thank you. Have a nice time. God bless.